Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, well, we're getting some uh, vibes of Windows 12, and especially some technical details that might have leaked a little bit, giving us an idea of the minimum requirements of Windows 12, as it's something we still don't know, and we still don't no, we're not sure about Windows 12 itself. Is it Windows 12? Is it some other name? Is it what will it be? But we know something big is coming. Uh, according to some documentation that might have been seen and some information that might have leaked a little bit, the minimum requirements for Windows 12 in the RAM memory department will be much higher than Windows 11. So if you are running Windows 10, the minimum requirement on Windows 10 for 32-bit uh, systems is 1 gigabyte and 64 bits, 2 gigabytes. And that is the minimum requirement, which is not what you want because you don't want to have the minimum requirement as it probably is very slow. But and Windows 11 actually requires four gigabytes of RAM, and um, this is where it gets interesting because from Windows 11 to Windows 12, let's say we're they're going to be calling it Windows 12, uh, the increase in minimum requirement is four times bigger. Windows 12 would actually have a minimum requirement of 16 gigabyte RAM. So that's a lot more memory and possibly has to do with the AI portion of the system. So now, of course, lots of speculations, people saying, whoa, you know, 16 gigabytes, this is crazy. And what other minimum requirements will they actually add to this? Um, the thing that I was um, imagining, and, and a lot of people actually have mentioned this, is that the minimum requirements could actually be based on whether or not you will have a PC capable of using all the AI or you know artificial intelligence functionalities. And I wouldn't be surprised still that, for example, a PC with a neural processor, an NPU, could be recommended but will not be a minimum requirement. But if you do have a PC with an NPU, they might actually require that 16 gigabyte RAM. And maybe if you don't have an NPU, maybe that minimum requirement could be lower, like, you know, say eight gigabytes. But anyways, we'll see. It would seem that uh, some people have seen the documentation saying 16 gigabyte minimum RAM which means this PC here that I'm using running Windows 11 would technically make it to Windows 12 if there is no other minimum requirements that this PC doesn't meet. For example, the CPU. Could they be putting a higher CPU category? This is an 8th generation Intel. Uh, it barely makes the minimum requirements for Windows 11. So could that be something that they'll actually move on to a even more powerful PC requirement. We don't know, but with 16 gigabytes already, that minimum requirement means a lot of PCs, if compatible, would possibly need to upgrade as a lot of uh, PCs sold actually were sold with eight gigabytes, which was kind of a standard for a while. Um, but um, this is interesting. We'll see what happens with that, but that's one of the minimum requirements that apparently is leaking everywhere. Uh, what will be the full set and the full scope of those minimum requirements? Now, that's going to be interesting to see, especially since a lot of people are mad at the, at the fact that Windows 11 has such a high minimum requirement compared to 10. Uh, if they add even higher minimum requirements to 12, uh, that would make it, um, you know, a, a operating system that can run only on very, um, very more high-end PCs, basically, on very recent hardware. So we'll see what happens with that and how that minimum requirement will play. But I wouldn't be surprised because often you have, 
And if you guys remember, every Windows re uh, operating system had that. You had the minimum requirements. You had the recommended requirements. Um, maybe we're mixing the fact that 16 gigabytes is the recommended requirements, and maybe they'll accept eight or something like that, but we'll see what happens next. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.